Alright, so the merge tool, this is where you'll be doing any importing of polygonal meshes to convert to voxels. I'm not going to touch on that just yet. First, let's touch on the others. The transform will let you do just that. You can transform it. You can pick from retopology if you've retopologized something. You can subdivide it. Now, don't do that on voxel objects, just polygonal objects. You'll see why. It will cause havoc. The other is this. On pin, any mesh that you've imported will now turn into a pin. Beware though, if you're using a high res object and then click that, you'll be painting high res objects all over something and that can cause a lot of uh, lagging if it is very high res. The other and lastly is select mesh. And you can see I've already done it here, but let's do it again. Let's import the creature. Okay, yeah, let's say he's not big enough. Let's scale him up a little bit. And then let's make that invisible so we don't see the sphere there. Okay, and let's actually just create another layer on the Vox tree so that we don't commit it on an existing one. Now, it looks like polygons. That's because it is still. Let's subdivide it and maybe a little more. The reason I'm doing this is because once you commit it, if you commit it with a low res mesh, it's going to be jagged. And that's fine if that's what you want. But if you want something smoother, you know, say such a such as a subdivided mesh, then definitely subdivide it. Okay, now let's hit enter to commit that object. It might take a moment here. Okay, that didn't take too long. Let's move that out of the way. And then you can see that we now have a mesh that you can sculpt on. Well, it's no longer a mesh, though, it's voxels. So, just to demonstrate that point, let's go on over to a voxel tool. See? You're now sculpting on a once polygonal mesh that is now voxels.